Hi, and welcome back to C Programming Skills using Replit. I'm Norman McIntyre. Let's get started. We're going to continue on our miles to kilometers program. In fact, in the previous video, uh, which you should watch before you watch this one, is we did version one, where we set the miles as a variable. Here for version two, we're going to focus on prompting the user to enter the miles from the console. So here we are on our version we did previously, just some highlights. We learned at line number four how to create a constant by using what's called a pound define, where you give the name and then you give the value. So in this case, we said this is something that never changes. So let's make it, uh, uh, call it KMS per mile. Notice too, the convention is to make this all uppercase. Uh, that's really just the convention, it's not required, but the convention is to make a pound define that is a constant all uppercase and in this case we set it to 1.6. Uh, also another key point we noticed how we would put comments about the sections of our code what we were doing so display the title, uh, get the inputs, make the calculation, display the results. So in this case instead of it being version 1 it's going to be version Two. All right. And a lot of times, instead of changing the version here, you may decide to do this. You may say pound define version. Because after all, the version, we'll say it's version two, you could argue that this is not going to change in your program. You have a version. And sometimes in a bigger program, you may need to do this, use this version number at different places. So since it never changes, and since we're going to use it at different, or we could in the future use it at different places, I'll also make it a pound to find. So that means here this version, instead of being a hard-coded 2, I'll say percent %d, because we know that 2 is a decimal. And of course that means here I'll put comma version. And, and notice we're putting the, this is the pound define versions right there, so it'll get put into that. In fact, when I click on run to verify, notice, sure enough, we see we've got version two. Now, for version two, when we say get the inputs, instead of hard coding it like we did on version one, in fact, maybe for the purpose of this demo, I'll just put a comment here and say this was version 1. All right, we did it like that. But for version 2, we want to prompt the user to enter some input. So we'll say printf enter miles. I'm not going to put a new line because I want to sit there at the end. So I'll say enter miles. And now we need to input the miles, we need to input that. And this is where we'll use this function called scanf. And notice when I type scanf, it says the first parameter, this constant character pointer format. And I, I realize we still haven't fully explained all of this, but at the high level, this is just going to be a string that tells us how to format it. And then the next parameter, notice there's a comma, will show where to put it. So what we want is a percent %f. Right? We're looking, this, this double is also called a floating point. So we want to enter a floating point, and where we want to put it is into miles. Now I want to show a common error when you're first coding, and you see I've, I've made the error right now, although it's telling us it's just a warning but I find when you're first starting coding, this is one of the biggest errors and biggest confusions, is that if scanf, which stands for scan formatted, is going to look for a floating point value, it needs to know where to put it. And so you could say, well, I want to put it in miles, right? That's the name of the box. But when we do that, we see we're getting a warning, not an error, but a warning. And we position our cursor it says format specifies a float star 
but the argument has a double. Hmm. Format specifies a float star, but the argument has a double. Hmm. Now, it turns out, it turns out in the world of, of um, C, you can also have a float miles. In fact, I'm going to temporarily put that there. It turns out both of these are floating point numbers, but one is what's called single precision. So single precision. And the second is double precision. The precision is basically how many bits in the computer it uses to, to store it. And so notice if, if I change it to float, I come here and I'm, I say, I still got the warning. But when we look at the warning now, it says format specifies type float star. But the argument is has type double. Oops, what, I guess it hasn't updated it. It hasn't realized we've updated it. Let me click on run. Let's see what warnings we get here. So here we go. Notice we got the little green line here and also the thing here and it says warning format specifies type float star but the argument has type double. Okay, so format right here is specifying a float star but the argument has type double. So let's do this. If I, if I, where it says enter miles, let's say I enter 10 and press enter. Wow, we crashed. A segmentation fault. We actually crashed. This is what's called a runtime error. And here's the problem. First, I'm going to comment out the float because we're going to use double precision by default. And right here, I'm going to make this F, which is for float, I'm going to make this an LF, which says make it a long float. And once I do that, when I type an L in front of it, notice it says the format specifies type double star, which is a, a double pointer, but the argument is of type double. This is the hardest issue I find that when you're first starting coding to understand, and that's why I'm spending a lot of time here. It says the format, well that's what's in the string here, specifies a double star. In other words, it's expecting you double star is a, is a double pointer. So what it's expecting you to send it is not the name of the variable, but rather check this out, a pointer to the variable. You may want to play this multiple times to make sure you get it. Anytime you're using scanf, you give a pointer to the variable. Think of when you see this, think of your index finger. Instead of passing in the, the box, instead of giving it the box, you're giving it a pointer to the box. So now by doing that, when I click on run, we don't get any errors. I can enter 10 for the miles, press enter, and we do the conversion. Or I can run it again, period slash main. Let me say I drove 5.5 uh, miles, and we see that it does our conversion. So super important right here to understand really these lines of code and how we were able to uh, prompt the user and actually get input from the user and put it inside using a pointer put it inside this variable called miles hey you've made it through another video and more to come in the next video we'll work on version 3 I'm Norman McIntyre thanks for watching